Breaking news. Amnesty for bandits. Shut up or we will get you in jail. Media, Buhari Media Organization tells Gumi. Gumi is now in trouble. He has fallen out of favor with those who seemingly feels like they are protecting him before now. He's been the one advocating and crying since, uh, according to what we are hearing, that the military is bombarding uh, bandits in Zamfara, where communications has been shut up so that um, they will not be able to know we, we you know where they'll be hit and all that you know uh um, me, you, you me said the other day that the federal government should forget about uh dealing with bandits because they've come to stay he, he, he did not make the statement hiding as we speak is on his facebook page you know so it's not an alleged information it's something he owns up to that yes this is his perspective this is what he feels and um now presidency is replying him please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time let's get all the aids let's get all the details <laughs> breaking news amnesty for bandits shut up or we get you in jail Buhari's media organization tells Gumi, not Garubashi, not Femi Adishin, because those two, they are the ones that reply, they can't speak now. <laughs> the Buhari media organization, BMO, has advised Gumi to shut up and desist from distracting the nation with his clamor for amnesty for bandits at a time the military authority are pounding the criminals in their hideouts, or he will get himself in jail. Making this call in a statement signed by his chairman, Ni, you see, it's not, it's not, it's not the rest of them, all. and Secretary Kasi, M B B M O says that they, there is no basis for the President Muhammad Buhari's administration to order a hutch on the ongoing military action for rest of Zamfara State and enjoying areas, as Gumi is pleading for. Like many Nigerians, we are concerned that Islamic clergy could be vocally could be vocal enough to say that bandits were going nowhere, in spite of the on air, ongoing air and ground assassination of their position. Gumi has, by those comments, confirmed his this his decision as the patron saint of this criminal element and for some time now has state has stated in the northwest hostage says the bandits have to be listened to by this administration and given amnesty it is not strange that a religious leader could be so supportive of bandits that are known to have play communities in the far north where lay travelers we lay travelers on their highway, kidnap people, including students, for ransom, and even ended ending up killing their hostage after collecting the ransom. No wonder, no wonder where Gumi was where was Gumi when those who who the Zamfara state governor Bello Matau and, and his Castina governor counterpart Aminu Bello granted pardon return to the forest to resume the life of criminality it is even strange that in the bid to justify the criminal act of these bandits gumi went to the extent of drawing an ideology between them and the former niger, niger delta militants we know that the comparison was designed to whip out local sentiment of the northwest region against president muhammad buhari but we dare to say that the people have suffered too much in the hands of the bandits to fall for the cheap blackmail the group added we therefore advise gumi to refrain from such kind of statement or he will find himself in jail bmo also com commended governors of affected states in the region for collaborating with the federal government on the security challenge posed by the bandits. Until now, the governors were working at cross-purpose and taking measures that suggest that the bandits were easily moving to other states to commit further atrocities. So, they don't want Gumi. They say, well, say, if you, if you like himself, eh, make it make it just sit down where he should sit properly. He should not try that nonsense he's trying to do because if he continues, he'll be dealt with accordingly. He will not be pardoned. This man is the person who speaks very boldly. I mean, I'm not trying to say that there's an alleged information. He wrote it on his own Facebook that the federal government are wasting their time. The bandits are going nowhere. They've come to stay. That's his words, not mine. He said they've come to stay. That the federal government are the ones wasting their time. As a matter of fact, the federal government should quickly go and, you know, liaise with them. 
you know, give them amnesty and be paying them and be doing this and be doing that and be doing that. Listen, guys, Gumi should be investigated, interrogated, and he should say what he knows about this matter. You know, the way Gumi is going, yeah, he should be investigated, interrogated. The continuous, you know, leaving of this man. If it's some other person, they would have invited him to Abuja eh, to explain what he means by what he's saying. But when it comes to this religious clergy, you see the sentiment. You see the sentiment coming in. Eh? You see the sentiment coming in. That's what is going on. <laughs> you know what? Uh, if until we begin to take call a spade a spade and forget our pers about our personal biases and see why things must go on, we cannot really come out of all these things in a hurry. This is the same man whose son is right now languishing in America for carrying out, you know, fraudulent activities. Is the one that is being, you know, parabolated in Nigeria like some gods or something. Yeah, you see, so these are some of the things that go on. And guess what? Everybody is just sitting down and watching. Some of these people can no longer travel outside this country because if they do, they know that they will be apprehended. They know. They know that they will be apprehended. It's in Nigeria that they flex their muscles. Look at, for instance, Pantami. Everyone, they know what they are doing. So to a large extent, I, I, I really feel for, you know, for genuine Nigerians who are consigned at the, you know, at the things that are going on and cannot really, cannot really fathom or really figure out what exactly, you know, is going on in this country because you're expecting more from the government. Sadly, they don't share the same ideology or values. They are rather very far away from what truth is supposed to be. You understand, they are rather very far away from what reality is supposed to be. So when we look at it, we see that, um, I mean, it's two different ball game altogether. It feels very much like these people, I mean, they are up to something that you cannot really put your fingers on. You see, Gumi, the way he speaks, and funny enough, do you know that state governors have been giving him money for his entourage as he goes to the forest to see the bandits? He will negotiate with them. He will talk with them. He will come back. He knows them. They will tell him, no, we don't agree. We agree. They will defile, rape, kill some of the people. Remember the other time, the camp chairman, that was, he was cut down like a tree. Remember now, the video, very gruesome. I couldn't watch it. I was so, I mean, my heart was bleeding. That's somebody's husband. He has a wife. He has children. Eh? Not that he was sick, not that he died of natural causes. Some people said he was not fit to live, and so they act him down. Welcome to Nigeria. You see, leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Do have a lovely day. Bye for now.